I've been thinking lately about what the rules are and what my objective is. Life is a game, and maybe more accurately, it's a set of games, and at any given time, you get to pick which game you want to play. And in a game, you have an objective and you have rules. So, the most obvious one is kind of a puzzle game, which is figuring out what the truth is. And we could call that, very broadly, science. When you're born, things present themselves to you and you have to figure out what they really are. And then there's a second game that we might call survival. Given what I know, how do I act in order to survive? The objective of one game is to find out the truth, and the other is to keep playing. But if we're trying to find out what the truth is, the question is, why? Why do we care what the truth is? And I think that's the sort of game where the objective is an objective good. So we should figure out what an objective good is. We can't establish uh, a means of telling what the truth is without uh, establishing universal rules. And if we're going to try to do something that's good for everyone, uh, like science is supposed to be, then a lot of that depends on who everyone is. And I think a lot of the reason why we have intractable political debates is because we disagree on our definition of who is included in everyone. And we disagree about which game we're supposed to be playing. So for instance, we might think that everyone is people who are like us uh, on many different axes. It could be people who talk like us or look like us people who are our age. For instance, the debate about abortion, I think, is largely determined by whether you think that unborn children are part of everyone, and also whether the same rules apply to all pregnant women with regard to their rights. And whenever you see anyone do anything, for instance, somebody talking to you in a YouTube video, yeah, I, th I think you are subconsciously asking yourself, which game is this person playing? Are they trying to figure out the truth? Or are they trying to survive as a YouTuber? Or in some way benefit themselves? And I think when we're having debates about political topics, uh, especially when they have to do with money or identity politics, we almost have an understanding that people are looking out for their own particular group. They're trying to survive. They're playing the second game, which can interfere very strongly with our ability to have any kind of productive debate uh, that furthers our playing of the first game, which is finding out what's actually true. It becomes nearly impossible. And when two people can't play the same game by the same rules, they can't play together doesn't work. But the things that you do to play each game can look very similar. People who want to survive are trying to figure out what's really going on around them. And somebody who wants to find out the truth or to benefit all of humanity equally is going to do things that uh, are presentable to people as beneficial because they know they live in a society where doing things that benefit other people, that people can see, means that they'll receive some benefit in return, which helps them to survive in an, an obvious pla a place where, you know, human beings can cooperate. But in that context where we're doing things that help each other or benefit each other, doing things within doing economic actions or participating in a community, it's easy to forget which game we're playing. So for instance, the US uh, Declaration of Independence starts with the assumption that people are equal and that they have rights. Within the historical context, it's not so clear that 
all people really meant all people the same way we think it does today. But I'd like to think that it did to some people and should have. But one of those rights is to the pursuit of happiness, which really is just the right to play that second game. And I think that frames the fundamental dilemma within the history of American politics. Some people imagine an American political history that had certain survival advantages, had prosperity, and they think that's what we should preserve. And others see it as uh, a declaration of equality, and that's what we should preserve. And when those things are opposed, again, you have to choose which game you want to play.